Hi, and welcome to Encouraging Word, a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. Yesterday, I began talking about a story from Mark 4, where Jesus and his disciples are traveling. Jesus says to his disciples, let's go to the other side of the lake. The lake they're talking about is the Sea of Galilee, Lake Gennesaret. This is about an eight-mile journey. It was a very simple journey. I mean, what can go wrong eight miles? Nothing much is going to happen. But, of course, you know the story. Something did go wrong. They came up against a storm. The Bible describes it as a furious squall. And the Bible says that the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. I don't know if you've ever been in a storm on a lake in a small boat. You know, years ago when we first got married, Elaine and I were to join her family on a fishing trip in northern Saskatchewan. We were a little late, and so by the time we got up there, Elaine's family had already been there. They were out fishing, and just as we drove into the camp area, the lake area, we saw Elaine's mom and dad and family, her sisters, younger sisters, uh, being, they were on the family boat, small boat, small aluminum boat, being towed to the dock, and they were wet and bedraggled. Their faces looked terrified. And of course, we found out in the story that they had been in the middle of the lake, and a storm had come up, and they had been swamped. Their boat had flipped over, and they were fighting for their lives. It was a horrible time. They were uh, trying to find one another, make sure. I mean, the girls, I think the sisters were maybe 10 or 11 years of age. They were pretty young. And so they were terrified, and, and the incident marked them for life, believe me. And so when professional fishermen on the Sea of Galilee are afraid for their lives, um, it must have been very scary and very dangerous. And yet Jesus was fast asleep in the boat. Um, they had to wake him and they woke him with the words, don't you care if we drown? You know, one of the master ploys of Satan is to convince people that God doesn't care about what we're going through or that we are left to fight for ourselves. We have to face the dangers of life on our own. Some of you are facing real challenges right now. They may be financial challenges, uh, job situations. Maybe it's a uh, family situations, family crisis, or maybe it's a personal health issue and you're facing a real challenge right now and you don't know and you're tempted to believe that God doesn't care and you wonder why God has left you to face this thing all on our, on your own. But we tend to forget who's with us in the boat. We tend to forget who's with us on this journey and we are tempted to believe that God doesn't care about what happens to us. We see Jesus in this story rise and he speaks to the wind and the waves and immediately there's calm. The storm ceases and they, they, they continue on their journey, a smooth sailing. Everything has calmed down. You know, the same God who spoke the world and the universe into existence is in your life. And he speaks words of calm and words of hope and words of encouragement to you today. He exercises control over whatever troubles you. And it just takes a word. But you say, Pastor, God hasn't spoken into your life. And he hasn't spoken to the, the problems that you're facing and the difficulties and the challenges. And you're still facing them. And I, I say, I know that. But he's still on the boat. And you're still on your way. The journey is still continuing. And you feel like you're swamped. But you're still sailing on. And you're continuing this journey that God has for you and God is with you. You know, this chapter concludes with uh, the saying, uh, verse 41, they, the disciples, were terrified and they asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Now they were terrified, not of the storm, but they realized who they had in the boat with them. They realized who was traveling with them. They realized that just with a word, the winds and the waves had to yield to Jesus. Do you realize who's in your life? Do you realize who's, who's, who's sailing with you? Do you realize that if God is for you, what can be against you? 
And it says they were terrified when they realized the power of Jesus in their lives. And I want to encourage you. My prayer for you today is that you and I would get a fresh revelation of who's in our boat, who's sailing with us, who is this Jesus, that even the winds and the waves obey him, that nothing can come our way that can harm us when God is in the boat. Oh, we'll go through storms and we'll go through hard times and they'll be difficult, but God is with us and God will see us through. And he's always bringing us to the other side and the journey will be complete. Please understand that this journey you're on, you are not alone. Uh, that the one you claim to serve as master, he is the master of the waves and the wind as well. And I encourage you to listen for his words. Believe me, he does care for you. And I, I pray that you will never, ever think otherwise. He does care. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much that you do care for us. Lord, some people are facing some real storms today, um, spiritual, physical, uh, material, uh, uh, mental storms. Uh, and Father, I pray, oh God, that you would once again allow us to hear your voice speak words of power and authority to whatever it is that's, that's bringing turmoil into our life. Oh God, today that we would know who's in our boat. And God, may we not be terrified so much of the storm, but may we recognize the one, the Savior, who's in this journey with us, who's on this journey with us. So I pray, Father, for each one today that we would recognize your voice, that we would recognize your presence. We know that you care for us, Father. And I pray that uh, we would not be people without faith. We want to be people who put our trust in you and depend on you and know your word is powerful. So we give you thanks today. And I pray for every person that today is facing a storm, God, that they might know the power of Jesus Christ even today. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time with us. I don't know where you are on your journey, but I can assure you God is with you. Uh, God is for you. And God is working to get you through to the other side. And no matter what comes your way between here and there, uh, you may face storms. You're going to face challenges, but God is with you and he's going to see you through. Always believe that. Hey, have a great day. Uh, God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. My name's Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. Uh, you can always uh, check out our, our various uh, videos and channels. Uh, God bless. Have a great day.